We know a lot about the menstrual cycle of a woman and the phases of it. But what about men? Well, men also have a cycle. Uh, the feminine body, it uh, follows different secretion of hormones and it is influenced by the moon because the moon is influencing the womb of a woman. While the masculine body is being influenced by the sun, the sun can influence the pineal gland of men. During a year we have four very specific moments that the sun changes and this is the two equinox and the two solstices. And this is the moment where the man is passing to a different archetype. Now, I love using as archetypes the Greek uh, gods of the ancient mythology in order to represent these different faces of, uh, of the man. Now, let's talk a little bit about them. Um, Approximately on the winter solstice, around the 21st of December, the god that appears is god Hades. Uh, this is a period that the man is entering in a big transformation because Hades is the god of death and rebirth. He is the one that helps the man from inside to go into a transformation in his life to let go anything that doesn't serve him anymore. The next god that appears with the spring equinox around the 21st of March is god Apollo. God Apollo is the archetype of um, creating realities, manifest manifesting externally what the man desires with plan, with strategy. And this also corresponds to the energy of spring. You know, spring, on springtime, we also have this blossoming, this new beginning, this creation. The next god is god Pan. He appears uh, around the 21st of June with a touch of god Dionysus. God Pan is the archetype that helps the man connect to the earth. He is the lover of the earth. He can feel the earth. He can talk to, to the spirit of the river, of the trees, of the sea, of the mountain. And God Dionysos, he is pure celebration. And the next God is God Hermes, who comes uh, approximately on the 21st of September with the autumn uh, equinox. And he is the God who helps the man to go into an internal journey of introspection. He helps the man see the truth inside of him. In order a man to be able to step in these archetypes, he needs to heal anything that is blocking his way towards those archetypes because he has those gods inside of him in a healthy form, but he has inherited a lot of information, programs, traumas of his family tree, as well as he has experienced traumas in his childhood and also had difficult experiences in past lives. And all these, they are standing like an obstacle between the man and the archetypes. 